Hi, I'm Keith Norris, here to provide you with a brief overview of improving lead capture with web forms. Web forms are the input fields that companies or other organizations put on their websites to capture information from visitors. Web forms can be as simple as a name and email address, or they can include more fields such as desired order quantity. Forms can consist of many different fields and can be used for many different purposes. Here's a web form used to sign up for a free webinar. On this website, the author has included an order form to collect interest in an upcoming book. Web forms can be used to increase your lead quantity by collecting more information from visitors than you would get with something as simple as a phone number or an email address. You can also improve the lead quality by adding fields to that captured information to collect more information perhaps about their buying requirements or the details of what they're looking for. It'll reduce data entry errors and it'll also save time because you're putting the data entry into the hands of the visitor of the website rather than somebody else inside of your company. Building web forms generally involves working with your webmaster to put some HTML code up on your site. Or at the very least, it requires putting a link on your site to a web form that may be hosted somewhere else. Fortunately, whether you're an HTML expert or don't even know what HTML is, Plan Plus Online makes it easy to collect leads on your website and capture those leads directly into your Plan Plus Online business account. You can even send the requester an automatic reply assign the lead to a sales rep, and initiate a series of sales process actions all automatically. You can also receive a notification via email or text message. To build a web form in your Plan Plus Online account, Business Edition is required. Tool tab and click on Form Builder. If you're in a brand new account, you may see a sample web. So if you have a sample web form, go ahead and click on it. If not, you'll a new form. When you create a new form, you'll notice that the form type is required. Forms can be used to create virtually any of the record types that you see inside of Plan Plus Online. So if you create a form type of contact, it's going to create a contact record. Those are the records that are under the contact tab. Here we are back inside of an existing customer's account who's using web forms for a wide variety of activities. We'll click on one form here. You can see in this example that this that this customer is using quite a fields within their form. You can see how many fields they've created and add to this form. To add a new field to the form, you simply go to the Fields tab, click the drop-down menu, and select the field to add to the form. Now, if you're creating a contact, you'll see a little asterisk here next to first and last name. First and last name would be required to create a contact form. The other form types would have other required fields. For instance, Opportunity would require an Opportunity form. Once you add all the fields that you want to the form, You'll click on the HTML tab, and this is where Plan Plus Online does all the hard work for you. Plan Plus Online creates the HTML that your webmaster would need to put on your site, so nobody has to write any HTML for your website. You can simply copy and paste the information from this box, and you can paste that into a document and send that to your webmaster, and that will put the web form right on your site. When somebody fills that form out, the data that they put in that form will automatically come into your Plan Plus Online account. Now, if you prefer to create a hosted form, you can actually just copy and paste the information right here into this hosted tab, and then you can put your own HTML in the header and the footer. In that case, you would just use this link, and you can just give your webmaster the link, and they can point directly to that. You click the Open button here, and you can see a sample of what those forms will look like. And again, the content of the form is totally up to you. You can build as many custom forms as you like, with as many fields as you like. The re return page is a page that you can send the visitor of your web form to after they populate the form. So this might be a thank you page, or this you just might put thank you in the, in the HTML information here. The rule tab will allow you to automatically send a reply to the person submitting the form. It gives you some options on what to do with possible duplicate records. The log tab will show you a log of anybody who's filled out this form and when they filled it out. You want to set each form to publish so that you can use that form. You can select an assigned owner for the leads that come in on that form. And then you can also set email notifications. So if you want to get a notification when that form is filled out, you can add multiple email addresses here separated by a comma. For additional information and more technical videos, you can go to planplusonline.com slash videos, or for a trial of the Plan Plus Online Business Edition, you can go to planplusonline.com or contact your Plan Plus Online sales representative.